welcome to the Wayfaring Panda. I'm Annette. Today I'm participating in a hop called Mixed It Up Mondays. And I believe this is the second one they've done. And it's put on by Anna at Peace Craft Love and Kimberly from I'd Rather Be Scrapbooking. And the idea is we take a traditional scrapbook layout, sketch, and then mix it up using different mixed media. And it's up to us what we want to use. I decided to do the smushed ink technique using the packaging technique. Hadn't done it for a while, so I didn't like how this was going. I'm using chip sapphire, just oxide, and stormy sky. However, I thought the chip sapphire was a little bit too bright, and then you see how I got two biggest spots here. So I turned the paper over and start over. That's a great thing with having paper. You always have another side. So I try again, but this time I'm using Distress Ink Faded Jeans. And the reason I'm using Distress Ink and Distress Oxide is just that I don't have both of the colors in both ones. So then I do my Faded Jeans first. Then I clean off the board again so I don't contaminate. You don't want to mix Distress Ink with Distress Oxide. And then you can see I'm doing more control with the packaging, holding both sides so I have more control over it and getting the ink more in the middle instead of on the corners so I don't get the square look. The next thing I'm going to try is something new for me. It's using a texture paste, which I have done in cards before, but I haven't used it on scrapbooks because I didn't want to use anything that was acid, that wasn't acid free. So Lawn Vaughn just recently came out with some texture paste and this one is Lawn Vaughn pearlescent and I'm just mixing it with some distressed ink and it's speckled egg. So since it's white, you can mix it with whatever color that you want. And then I'm going to put this through a stencil. It's a heart stencil and our sketch has hearts in it. So I thought that would go really well. Now, if you're interested in this um, stencil I'm using, I actually made it myself using some heart shapes I got off Etsy, some SVG files, and then I use my brother's scan and cut to cut out the stencil. And I have another video where I did that. And I'm going to use supplies I used on a card. Now I decided to do this as a double page layout. So I went ahead and splattered another page. And I'm putting some of the stenciled hearts on this page also. Now, usually you would use, and I can't think of what tool that is, it's usually metal to mix your paste with, but I didn't have one of those. So I'm just using my spatulas. Now, after you finish stenciling, you want to make sure you wash off your stencils and your tools and your work surface right away because the paste will dry really hard. I'm putting a picture of the sketch that we are supposed to use to inspire us at the top right hand corner and I'm going to stretch that into two different pages and actually I'm stretching some of the items out so that I can put two photos on the page. Now these are some of the papers that I'm going to be using. The first ones are stamping up to solid backgrounds for matting and some of the other items on the page. And then the other pattern papers are from Monica Taylor and this comes from her store which is a digital paper pack called Forget Me Not. And then these are some ephemeras that I printed out, which is also from that pack. I'll also be die cutting using my Lawn Fawn circle dies in these hearts, which are um, from also from Lawn Fawn to make hearts for the layout and circles. I'm also using these stamps and dies for teacups. I'll use those in place of the buttons. So before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and use my blending brush and we're going to go around some of the papers with this stormy sky. I'm just using the stencil to draw some lines on my heart and I'm using a black pen for that and then I'll use my blue pen for journaling and I'll do that off screen for both hearts and also go around some more of my paper with the stormy sky and then for the darker paper, I'm going to use faded jeans. Now that I've cut up all my papers and got everything ready, I'm going to put everything on my page. 
So I'm using some art glitter glue, which is acid free. I also like to use Nuvo Deluxe Glue. And this paper is the brighter blue paper that I had earlier. And I cut out this border with my brother's scan and cut to represent the scallops. On the left hand side, it looks kind of black in the picture, but I use kind of fancier ones because my paper looks kind of Victorian. And I'm actually having pictures from a vacation we took in Victoria. We went to a tea um, store called Murchies, and it was also a place you could eat. The pattern paper is the ones I showed earlier. So I just took two pieces of eight and a half times 11 and printed out the digital paper on that. I also did smaller pa pages with the same pattern. So that's a great thing with digital paper. You can print it out whatever size that you need. And so I'm just arranging these similar to how it is in the sketch. I cut out some of the pattern paper with my dies and I am using those as my large circles and then I'm using this rectangle piece of the paper and you can see it's actually the same as what the eight and a half times eleven was just printed out smaller and I'm using that in place of the rectangle paper that kind of looks like notebook paper on the sketch and instead of putting the clusters kind of about an inch and a half down I'm putting it all the way to the top and then that bottom cluster that's by the photo, I'm putting it in the bottom right hand corner so that I'll have room for two photos. And then you'll see that I had a stamp here that it says, hello, is it T you're looking for? Which was with the stamp set that I had with this T. I thought that was appropriate. So I'm just putting my photos kind of in different places than in the sketch so that I can get two of these on here. But I'm kind of putting the elements similar to how it is in the photo. And I have a kind of a tag picture here for the tag. My hearts are a little bit bigger than in the sketch. And then I'm also using my teacups that I had colored with Copic markers and cut out with the dies. And I'm using that in place of the buttons. I'm using this little tag that looks very Victorian in place of the heart that's down at the bottom. And then I'm using my tea bag that I stamped and colored as the button. Next, I'm adding the title, but since I've moved my elements down, there's not enough room to the side. So I'm going to put the title at the bottom and I'm using these bright blue stickers. And these I got from Hobby Lobby from um, Paper Studio. And I'm just putting the title Merchies since that's the tea store that we went to. Uh, my sister and I love this place. We went here several times and it was quite a ways from our hotel, probably I would say at least six blocks, but some of the blocks were long, but it went around the harbor. So it was a really nice walk. And plus then you can burn up some calories before you had the treats. And I don't think our hotel had breakfast. So we went here for breakfast a couple of times. So you can see in the one photo here, we're having tea and splitting that and got some pastries. So you got two pastries in a scone and split those and had just plain tea so we wouldn't get calories from that. And then on the other page that we'll see in a moment, they also had lattes and we had lattes that day and then also had some more treats. Uh, they also had um, salads and sandwiches and I think we may have went there for that also one day. Now, the other thing is the latte that we had here was, I think, caramel and vanilla, and I can't remember what, but it was made of their afternoon tea. And right now, actually, I have a tea company, but then I was kind of starting out. So that tea kind of inspired us to come up with our own afternoon tea blend, which was called High Country Tea. I don't have that anymore. In fact, I'm actually selling off of my tea to go out of business, so I have more time for crafting. On the second page, I'm doing it pretty much the same as I did the first page. I'm just flipping the larger heart to the right-hand side and the smaller grouping to the left-hand side to make it a double-page layout. And also, I left off the fishtail banner and the title. 
I enjoyed participating in this hop. It kind of stretched me to try some mixed media in my scrapbooking. And also I'm using some of my card making supplies for my scrapbooking, which is great to get more use out of your supplies. That way you get more bang for your buck. And I'm sure we'll get a lot more inspiration. I'll leave a list of all those participating in the hop below. So please hop along and you'll get some more inspiration. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like. And if you're not a subscriber, I'd really appreciate if you can subscribe to my channel. I'll leave a list of all the products that I use in this video in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and please continue hopping along. Thank you.